Good morning, Bumblebeezies. Happy Tuesday. It's 9.40 right now. I have a day off today. Um, I'm on my way to my doctor. I just have my regular checkup. But I am actually sick, you guys. I got sick on Sunday night, like towards the end of our night at Disneyland. I wasn't feeling good. I had like the chills and a really bad sore throat. And when we got home that night, I just like knocked out. I went straight to sleep. And then yesterday, I still felt really sick. And when I actually fell asleep on the plane ride, which, and it wasn't even that long, it was like an hour plane ride, I slept the whole way. And then I got home yesterday. I switched cars with Ariel because I was driving Ariel's car. So I, I passed by his work and I switched cars. And then I picked up the kids from school. I went grocery shopping. I made dinner. And then I took AJ to band practice. And as soon as I picked him back up, I went straight to sleep. I knocked out. Like, I got at least like 11 hours of sleep. I just feel like I have a cold. My throat doesn't hurt as much as it did yesterday and the day before, but now I just feel like congested, like I just have a cold or something. So that's what's going on. I didn't vlog at all yesterday. <coughs> and right now my video from Disneyland is uploading, so it'll be up today, later on today. So I'm on my way to the doctor's office. It's like about 15 miles, so I'll be there in about 25 minutes. Oh, and I got this new spirit jersey at Disneyland. I'm not gonna do like a whole haul video because I didn't get that many things, but I will show you guys what I got. I'll show you guys when I get back home, um, all the things that I got. I am back home now from the doctor's appointment. It was really, really fast. Like, I was really surprised actually. Anyways, I'm gonna show you guys what I got from Disneyland. So I showed this in one of my vlogs. It was that day when I had my meetup. I got this mug at the Disneyland Hotel in the store i think it's called like fantasia fantasy land i'm not sure what the store is called but i got this there it's so cute you have mickey and minnie lounging by the pool and then you can see the hotel right there those squares that's their that's the hotel those are how the windows look and then on the back it says the happiest day on earth anaheim california so cute and i love the d handle and then it's white on the inside and this was 16.99 we did stay at the disneyland hotel one time i think that was like 2014. it's really nice but it's so expensive <laughs> but i do recommend staying there at least once it's it's a nice experience so i had to get this it's so cute and then you guys already saw my spirit jersey i'll show it to you guys again so this is the back i really love the color on the back like it's purple and blue and it's like iridescent and this is like a different material than the other ones this the lettering i like it and then there's a stripe on the sleeve or two stripes and then you have the d right there and I think these are $65 now. I'm not too sure, but I think they're $65 now. Okay, and then I actually got the same one for Vanessa. So, super cute. My friend Jasmine actually helped me pick this out for her because she knows Vanessa likes these colors. Vanessa's kind of picky now. She doesn't really like wearing Disney clothes, like t-shirts and sweaters. But she does like the spirit jerseys, so that's why I got her the spirit jersey. I didn't know what to get her, honestly, since she is so picky now. Um, but I'm happy that I got this for her because she really did like it. She loved it a lot. There was actually another color that I liked that I had never seen before. It was sort of like a grayish blue color, but they didn't have her size. And this is an extra small in adults. They do have spirit jerseys for kids, but she does fit into the adult sizes now, so that's why I got her this one extra small, and she'll be able to wear this one much longer than if I got her a kid size. Okay, and then for AJ, he actually asked me to get him a Halloween shirt or just like anything Halloween related, but I couldn't find any more medium shirts. Every store that I went to only had like 
4XL and 5XL like the whole like they were just running out of everything so when we went to the world of Disney I actually saw this shirt it's so nice it's a button-up collared shirt short sleeve shirt and then it has like the attractions on it it's really nice when I saw this I sent him a picture of it and I said do you want this and like I could tell he wanted it like he really wanted it but he was worried about the price and um, I said he said just get it he was like first he was like how much is it and then he waited like two seconds and he said oh just get it <laughs> it was funny so I got, I was gonna get it for him anyway because I knew he would like it and this was $60 at the world of Disney when he went to the world of Disney only one side was open just the left side before the right side was open um, now the left side is open I think they're working on the middle section anyways I also got this for Vanessa at the world of Disney it's a cute Dole Whip plush it's so cute I love how it has the flower and then on the back it says Aloha they also had like a small like a coin purse to match this and they also had a Mickey's premium bar plush even like the stick was plush it was really cute but I chose this one and this was $14.99 <laughs> And she really liked it. So I'm really happy that I got this for her because she loved it. Okay, and then the last thing that I got um, was this Oogie Boogie popcorn bucket. It's so nice. I really wanted this last year, but they didn't have any more. And then this year, they kind of changed it a little bit. They made this part multicolored. And the strap, you get the popcorn in the back like this. I didn't have them put the popcorn in here though, I got it on the side just so the inside doesn't get all dirty and stuff. So they give you the popcorn in a little paper container, the paper bucket. So yeah, I don't know how much this costs though. Because I bought this and I bought a bottle of water and I paid $18. I think I paid $18. So this might have been like $15 or $16, I don't know. But there was another bucket that I really wanted, which is the cauldron bucket, and it lights up. That one was $20, but I just didn't get it. I don't know why I didn't get it, actually. But it was actually a good thing that I didn't get it because my luggage was already super filled up. So yeah, that's everything that we got at Disneyland. And I also want to give a special shout out to my friend Loi because she gave me a Disney gift card. So that did help purchase some of these items. Thank you so much, girl. You're seriously so sweet. Yesterday, we went to Porto's and we had breakfast there. And then I brought, I only brought back six cheese rolls because my luggage was full and then I brought this bag to put like the souvenirs in this bag, but it was already so filled up also so I Only brought back six cheese rolls because that's all I could fit in my purse I only had like a small small space left in my purse Okay, so I only got six cheese rolls then I got to the airport and I was checking in my luggage and Then I was like, oh, let me just check in both of these bags that way. I don't have to carry too much stuff through TSA right and then I was sitting down waiting for the plane and then I'm like, wait a minute, I'm only carrying one thing, which is my purse. I totally could have gotten more portos. <laughs> I'm so mad, like I didn't even realize that I could check in both bags and then I could carry my purse and I could carry a bag of portos. So now I only have six cheese rolls, but it's okay. Oh my gosh, and did you guys hear that you can order portos um, online for delivery? So you can order portos and it comes frozen and then all you have to do is bake it in the oven But it's so expensive. It's literally almost double the price I think I want to double check, but I think when I looked on the website One dozen cheese rolls is $16.99 but at portos one cheese roll is only 84 cents so it's almost double the price i do think it's worth it though if you don't live anywhere near a portos and you really want to try it 
or if you want to have it for like a holiday party or something like that i think it's worth it but i probably wouldn't order it unless like i said if it's like the holidays and we really really want it i you know i wouldn't get it like on a regular day so they come raw and frozen so you just have to bake them yeah it's 16.99 for 12 pieces that's almost double the price you guys but like i said if you don't live anywhere near portos now you guys can try it just order it on their website portosbakery.com so i wanted to show this to you guys i ordered this from ulta last week um it's an advent calendar this is going to be my advent calendar this year it's it's from opi and it's a collaboration with disney uh, with their new movie, The Nutcracker and the Four Realms. So this is an advent calendar of mini-sized OPI nail polishes. Here's what it looks like inside. I'm so excited. And it comes with 12 exclusive shades and then 13 OPI favorites. I am so excited, you guys. I'm so excited. <laughs> so if you guys love nail polishes and if you love advent calendars, I would suggest getting this. It's online only at Ulta. It was $50, but I used a 20% off coupon, so it wasn't too bad. And then I also ordered the Essie Gel Top Coat. And then I ordered another Zoya polish. It's this really pretty blue color. And this one is called Ryan. It's so pretty. I have the fan on. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I have the fan on because the AC is not working. It wasn't working yesterday. I asked Ariel, he said it was working this weekend. So I think it just started yesterday. So I put in a maintenance request. I don't know when they're gonna come and fix it, but I hope they can fix it before this weekend because we're having a party on Sunday. Anyways, I wanted to show you guys my nail polish. I painted my nails on Thursday night and they still look really good. This was, um, this polish is by Zoya. I don't remember the name, but it's by Zoya, and I only have like a little bit of chipping right there on this nail at the tip, but other than that, it looks really good. My other hand looks exactly the same. The top coat that I've been using is the Sephora Formula X, which is discontinued, so I want to try the Essie Gel top coat and see if it's just as good, and I'll let you guys know. <laughs> Look who's back. I'm back. <laughs> Ariel's back. Did you miss me? Yes, I missed you guys, and you too. You guys? I was the only one that left. Oh, I mean, the, the vlog. Oh, the vlog. <laughs> <laughs> so what did you do while I was gone? Um, we went to the mall. What else? We went to the dentist. I saw you guys ate at BJ's. Yes. You went to the dentist. You went to AJ's competition. Was it good? Yes, it was fun. It was nice. It was uh, fun. Oh, yeah. I forgot to tell you guys that AJ's marching band won. Five sweepstakes, best yes. best band, right? Best, best of all, band. best of all the bands. So that's really good. I'm so proud of them. They have a lot more competitions to come. I know. That's just the first competition. Yeah, that was the first of competition many. of the season. Right. Yeah. Were you crying? Was I crying? Yeah. I was trying to look for him. I heard you told Vanessa to film the wrong person. No. Because AJ had a solo, right? And then you said, that's him right there. And she was filming it, but it was the wrong person. Leave it on Vanessa. <laughs> she was looking somewhere else. You told her to film that person. No, not the one on the bottom. I was looking for him. Oh my yeah, great. I, uh, it's that's so, me. It's so funny. <laughs> I haven't seen the video yet. Vanessa said she filmed it, right? Yeah. Yeah, I haven't seen it yet. I'm going to go see it. Okay, bye. Bye. Good evening, everyone. It is time to go to sleep, and it's time to end the vlog. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. <laughs>